I just bought this uh, Cisco 2900 for my lab. Nice little switch. I love it because it's uh, fanless, so uh, no uh, droning fan in the background. Just got it off eBay for 40 bucks and just unpacked it, and I'm going to guess that I'm going to have a problem. Here we are. As soon as I plug it in, it uh, actually tells me some information about it, which is now uh, giving me the hint that it's pre-configured. I uh, will press enter just to see what happens, and sure enough, we have a password. All right, time for password recovery mode. So we're going to power this guy up. We are going to have a power bar in the back. It makes it a little easier to boot up. And the key is to hold the mode button down. And we're going to look at this top light as we boot it up. So let's hit the power switch. And I'm pressing and holding that mode button. And we're waiting for that top yellow light to start flashing. And it should happen any second now. And here we are. So now we'll go back to the PC and tell that in. Now that we've gone to that password recovery mode and uh, we've got that little light flashing, we see now the switch prompt, which is quite common with uh, many Cisco switches. So let's start typing. First thing we're going to type is flash init. Let's see how many typos I can make. And we're just going to wait for this to finish. Initializing flash, and there we are. So now we're going to load helper. The next one we're going to do is look at the flash, and obviously there's going to be something in there. So there's our flash, and the big thing we need to do right now, and a lot of people have different opinions on this, uh, we can delete. The um, most common thing to do though is to rename the, the flash config, or the config on the flash, to whatever you like. So let's, let's call it flash. Usually people type old. There we go. And after that, we're done. So we're going to boot her. See what happens. I'll just pause the video and we'll get back to it in a second because this will take a while. So here we are. We've uh, got the initial configuration dialog box come up. It's up to you what you like to do. And uh, most people type no to get started. And this is, again, this is entirely up to you. A lot of people at this point will rename that config.old back to config.txt. I don't need any of that. So th this is entirely up to you what you'd like to do. So from here, you can just get in and uh, start configuring. Some people um, will just do a write mem, just to write the current configuration. And that's it. I was just thinking, now that we've got this uh, switch all uh, cleaned up and booted. Why not just do a basic config? Why not? So let's just go to enable mode. Uh, we'll show our running config just to make sure it's empty. There's nothing in there. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Great. So config terminal. Config T. So we're ready to go. The first thing we'll do is type in our host name. We'll give our switch a name and all of our switches in the lab are named after Family Guy characters. So the other little 2940 is Stewie and this will be Lois. There we are. Uh, the next thing we'll do is uh, give it uh, an IP address. So we'll go to VLAN 1. Oops. Caps lock is on. That should be fine. And from there, we will give it an IP address. 10.44.10.41. And we'll give it a 24-bit here we are. Uh, from there, we also need to give it a, a default gateway to get off the network in case uh, we need to get to a different VLAN or a different subnet. So we'll do an IP default gateway. And you'll find that there's uh, several different shortcuts. We could use the tab key to autofill and all that nonsense, but you know what? I'm just doing it longhand. Just just to show everybody how it's done. And then from there, you can do whatever you like. Um, that's it, really. That's a name. That's an IP address. 
Now that we've connected the switch to the network, let's see if we can reach it. We'll just give it a simple ping. And as you can see, it's not working. And it's, this is a very common mistake I see uh, all sorts of people make, including me right now. So let's go back to our serial port connection. And we'll go back to enable mode. Now we will show our running config. And if you take a look, the most common mistake I see people make is you forget to take the shutdown off of VLAN 1, which has our IP address. So basically, VLAN 1 has an IP address, but we have that interface shut down. So that's what we're going to do now is uh, go back to config T, interface VLAN 1. From here, just no shut or shut down, depending on what you're more comfortable with. And we'll get out of all that nonsense. We'll go back to our pinging screen. And we'll cross our fingers, and there you are. Now we can ping it. Excellent. So we're good to go. Have a good day. Bye for now.